Hey everybody, it's Mac from Rev. We're back for day two of our ultimate goal prototyping. Um, we kind of took this one a little bit to the next level. Uh, we, we wanted to get an intake onto a chassis uh, and then kept finding really kind of some cool things that we could do uh, and really wanted to flesh this idea a little bit further out. Um, so we have our Mechanum drivetrain kit is the base that we're building everything off of here. I mean, we pretty much are taking the concept that we were utilizing beforehand, which was gonna be wheels um, on kind of an outrigger that would head out of the front of the machine here. I um, kind of took it to the next steps. Uh, we moved from our 90 millimeter wheels down to a smaller wheel, um, but then also have made some other changes on the inside of here. So let's go ahead and take a look at kind of what we've done uh, with this one. So we're using the open front of the chassis here. So if we actually flip this up, so this armature, kind of rotates about the same way uh, that our little test system did. Um, and we kind of can run everything back from this motor back here. So we have an HD uh, hex motor running into an ultra planetary. Uh, we are using a five to one um, over here on our ultra planetary gearbox uh, to kind of get that increased speed since we're gonna be running uh, this kit at a 20 to one gear ratio. So it's gonna be quite a fast little uh, drivetrain. So we wanna increase our roller speed um, to match uh, that. Uh, so this is our main roller. This is guy is going to come and pull in. But if you go from the motor here, this chain drives um, into these back into the back rollers here, and these two are chained together so they can run in the same direction. The idea with this is so that these will end up kind of riding and kicking this up and outward, um, kind of in a similar way uh, that a lot of the gear mechanisms for Steamworks kind of worked. It's kind of going in that route. This then goes over to our pulley over here that we have sandwiched in on this side uh, that then runs uh, this belt up to our gear that is up here that then meshes with another gear so that we're able to change the direction of this front roller because the front roller and these back rollers need to run in opposite directions for us to get the needed outcome. Um, this thing actually, we're, we were really, really surprised um, and it's part of the reason why we kept kind of iterating on this about how... Uh, how much progress we we're actually making by doing like little iterations on things. So going with the 60 uh, millimeter wheels and going with little baby 30s. Um, and then we kind of took a guess on what this gap would need to be um, to, and got some pretty impressive results out of this. So let's kind of give this uh, a try. Oh, and one last thing before we kind of give this a go, uh, we're using a lap bracket here on top of these two pieces of extrusion to kind of hold this where it needs to go. Um, one of the things that we would likely probably want to do is add another bracket somewhere um, to be able to keep this from riding too low, but uh, with that, let's kind of give this a start and kind of kick this forward. So once this is running, these things kind of, they very, very easily kind of run in and want to just pop right out and up, which gives, which is actually pretty nifty, um, especially if you wanted to hand this off to some sort of area. The one thing that can happen though, as you can see right here, that if this, if this does not have enough downforce, it will kind of skip sometimes um, until it wants to ride up. And then the other thing too, we've noticed that needs a bit of working through and improvement is when you put two of them in here, it will jam um, until you give it basically enough juice. So there needs to be a little bit of refinement and iteration on kind of what this, kind of what this is to make it work more consistently. Um, trying to pick up two at once definitely is gonna cause us some issues. Uh, and then also there's likely some iteration that needs to happen with this gap. Maybe it's moving one of these to a slightly larger wheel. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's kind of closing this a little bit or kind of tinkering with this distance because from time to time they will get kind of caught in here or maybe it's putting a, a guard or something in that position. Um, but this is kind of a really cool spot where you can take this and maybe iterate on it and find something else uh, that would work a little bit better specifically with your machine. Uh, we're pretty pretty happy with it so far. but. Uh, take a look at this to get some ideas from there. Uh, check out some of the other robots that we took inspiration from, specifically from Steamworks. Uh, I think 2848's robot is one that would definitely led to a lot of inspiration for this one. Um, but you can end up taking a, taking a look at those and see if you're able to put together a similar intake onto your robot.